So in this video, we're going to go ahead and do a react video. This video is by Bia Heza, and this video is called my $50,000 crypto mining mistake. So let's check this out. In this video, we're going to build a full on brand new Ethereum specific mining rig. We'll break down the numbers, the profitability, where I got the parts, basically everything you need to know to decide if mining crypto is the opportunity of a lifetime or a terrible financial decision. After today's video, I'm going to have around $50,000 worth of mining equipment total that I've bought and put together. And we're going to talk about how all of it might basically become worthless in about eight months, not even exaggerating. Okay, so before we start. Oh, eight months. So he's talking about F 2.0 POS, more than likely. Start unboxing things and build up this ridiculous Ethereum mining rig. Quick breakdown of how my last six months of mining have been and what the major threat to the type of mining we're doing here is and why you should definitely be aware of it even if you're not into crypto mining. Okay, first up, I made a video about six months ago where I dove into the world of what I thought was Bitcoin mining and spent $15,000 on putting together a GPU mining rig. I had a variety of different 30 series Nvidia cards in there. I'll put up a list of the specific ones, but I installed Windows on that rig and was using NiceHash to mine on it. And all of that is on this rig down here. And once I said it up i loved it i mean it's basically true passive income you build up this rig hit play and you're making money with really good returns on autopilot if you shop around for your parts and be smart about it you can make your money back on your rig within under a year so we're talking basically 100 annual return truly passive the only thing is it's risky because of the price of the crypto market falls so does your profit levels but if you believe in it long term that doesn't even matter because the crypto you mine and have sitting in your wallet will continue to rise or fall with the market flick situations don't care don't care still don't care but anyways i built that first rig it went <laughs> great so then i made a follow-up video after one month where i talked about how things were going and built another gpu mining care. rig with all founders edition 3090 gpus just an absolute beast of a machine spent about 18 grand on that one so now i was thirty-four thousand dollars deep into this things were going great but after about a month of running the first rig it ended up being not that passive for me and that's because i was mining on windows using nice hash so my rig would constantly crash i'm talking like twice a day and if i'm not at the mining facility lair or don't notice that it's off it could be down for like 10 hours at a time which is terrible like this rig would be off half the time which i mean would therefore decrease profitability by half right and on top of that i never was truly mining bitcoin on nice hash i was mining whatever the most profitable coin to mine at the time was which i believe was and continues to be ethereum and then nice hash would just pay me out in bitcoin which is fine you're kind of mining bitcoin indirectly but you're never actually mining Bitcoin because I now know you can't with a GPU since the difficulty is too high. It'd basically be impossible, which is something I completely admit I was not fully aware of getting into mining. And that's really important to remember for later in the video. So mining on Icehash is kind of goofy, but eventually... Well, he's still kind of wrong. Really, when you're using NiceHash, you are mining, but you're actually selling your hash rates and getting paid in BTC. But he's getting it months down the line i did have some time to readjust things the second 3090 gpu rig wasn't that bad because all the gpus were the same so it ran fairly smoothly still crashed like once a day but it was on most of the time but for the first rig i took an ssd and flashed an operating system called a hive os onto it and connected that to the rig and hive os is basically an operating system dedicated to mining so i connected that new ssd to the rig powered it on and was now mining ethereum on it through hive os directly which was so much better it's more efficient we're mining ethereum directly it'll run for like five ten days at a time and when it does crash it automatically just reboots itself i can also track everything remotely on my phone i mean this was a game changer it's so nice and there's so much you can do with hive Ooh, this is nice. okay now there's only one downside of hive though is there are fees so the thing about mining on windows is it's completely free so for him, I guess it's okay because he only has three rigs, which is fine. But if you have a lot of GPU mining rigs, it's going to cost a hefty fee. So for me, it's better for me just to mine on Windows. Okay, but now that we're up to date on everything, let's build up this new Ethereum rig that's going to be running on HiveOS. Also will be powered by six 3090 GPUs, which are the biggest, baddest consumer GPUs that NVIDIA Damn. has to offer. And we'll see how much it'll make. Yo, Pierre, you want to come So this here? build started out like any other. I was building up the frame. Things were going smooth. I'm plugging stuff into the motherboard, the power supply units, the CPU, which after installing a new CPU, you're actually legally obliged to flex the CPU sticker on your phone. 
Then you can put on the cooling fan, eventually got to the graphics card part, at which point you're legally entitled to a quick coffee break. I'm gonna go back. Okay, so real talk, you don't need that much RAM. One stick of the cheapest RAM is fine and you can get a four gigabyte stick of RAM. You don't need two RAM sticks because with a GPU mining rig, all the parts you can go cheap because the only thing that really matters is the GPUs. Graphics card part, at which point you're legally entitled to a quick coffee break. Back to it, I plugged in all of the cards, tried turning the machine on. First try? Just kidding, not first try. It actually didn't work. So I spent hours troubleshooting and at the verge of a complete mental breakdown late at night, I called it quits. Then about a week later, I was almost fully recovered mentally from the trauma of not having this incredibly expensive setup turn on. And I had some time on my hands, so I tried some more troubleshooting, narrowed it down some of the cables being bad, so I replaced those, made some progress, but still, it wouldn't fully turn on. So at this point, I had to call in some certified crypto scientists who helped me figure out the issue, and it turned out to be the motherboard. So quick trip to Best Buy, bought some way overkill overpriced parts, set those up. Just no upside down crosses, please. Uh-huh, gotcha. And it powered on. So now all three rigs are in action. I Success. couldn't use all six of the GPUs on the new rig though, because the motherboard only has five slots. I ordered a little extendo clip, but that's gonna take a bit to arrive. So that's where we're currently at. So we'll get it to how much this full three rig farm cost me, how much I'll be making with it, and how long it'll take to break even. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows. And before we do that, we have to talk about the big threat to GPU mining. So there's basically two types of mining. ASIC, which is specialized equipment specifically designed to mine one single type of coin. So you can buy a ASIC miner and mine Bitcoin with it. And then you have GPU mining like we're doing here with these graphics cards. And with this, there's a number of different coins you can mine with them or even use them to build up computers. So they're a little more versatile. There's even a number of coins you can mine with GPUs, but the most profitable one and the one that pretty much everyone across the board who's mining on GPUs chooses is Ethereum. And that's great and completely fine, except there's talk from the founder Vitalik Buterin and the people behind Ethereum of turning the crypto from a proof of work model to a proof of stake. Now, two sentence, overly simplified explanation. In the current proof of work model, miners try to solve complex equations. First miner to solve a particular equation gets to be the one to verify a block of transactions, which they get rewarded for in crypto. The more computing power you have, the more equations you're likely to solve. Now, in the proof of stake model, the writer of a new block is chosen from a pool of users who have staked a certain amount of coins. So basically, there's no equations to solve and there's no mining <laughs> if this change happens people Rip. won't be able to mine ethereum but you might be thinking well that's okay i can just mine a different coin with my gpus right yeah not so fast where is all this computing power that's not mining ethereum gonna go probably to all these other coins which is gonna drive the difficulty of mining these other coins up and given that they're cheaper coins it may very quickly become unprofitable to mine them. or i don't know if the prices of the other coins go up significantly it could stay profitable to mine them but point is there's a ton of uncertainty here especially because in an interview earlier this year nice. with Lex Friedman, Vitalik said that this change is coming up in early 2022. Now an Ethereum developer more recently this month said that it's looking like it'll now happen around June of 2022, so about eight months away. Thing is though, I've personally been hearing rumors about this online since like early 2018 and they've been pushing it back for so long I don't know they might be trolling us but it seems pretty serious this time around now with my personal situation that is true. So just be aware. The talk about POS, they stated it was going to happen back in 2018, 2019. So it could be June of 2022, but just be aware. No one knows yet. Situation, if I'm able to mine for another eight months at the current price of Ethereum, I should have a solid portion of the rigs paid off. And then if it's absolutely impossible to mine in them, I hope I don't have to, but I could maybe sell some of them at a discount because people still need GPUs for computers and whatnot. Or maybe even True. do like a massive giveaway on this channel for all the GPUs. But point is currently I'm not really stressing about the situation since I should just about break even if things go south or at least not lose too much. It's not too bad. I mean, it should be okay. I'm not too worried about it really. But now that said, I'm also probably Probably not buying any new GPU rigs after this one. I may look into ASIC mining because you can mine Bitcoin with that and whatnot. So I'm probably going to start exploring that whole side of mining. 
But now let's talk about the current profitability on all three of these mining rigs. Again, the first one cost $15,000 and is currently at 470 mega hash, making about $37 per day. Second rig was 18,000, now pushing around 600 mega hash on Hive OS, making around $48 per day. And now this third one basically costs the same as the previous one because it's the same type of cards. One of the cards isn't currently connected to it, so I'll subtract that from the cost. And I also was able to get two of the GPUs for MSRP thanks to one of the scientists who came over to help fix the rig. And I still need to return the non-working motherboard. So with all these moving variables, it's tough to put an exact number on it, but it's about 16,500, maybe even a little less, but let's do that to keep it fair. So this new third one is pushing 516 mega hash, which equals to about $40 per day. And now all three mining rigs, if I just bought them today and let them run, we're talking just around 50 grand total purchase price, making $125 per day. It would take around 400 days at the current price of Ethereum to break even, but I already mined 14 grand worth of crypto and have about another thousand coming in from NiceHash and HiveOS. So around 15 grand total currently mined. So now if you factor that in, it's gonna take 280 more days until everything is paid off. So about nine more months. Now 400 days in my opinion isn't that bad, but if you build something exactly like this on your own, you could do it for a lot less if you have time to shop around and wait for parts to come in. So you'll be a lot more profitable or even if you're just getting into it, you could build a yeah he overpaid for all his parts now the thing is the price of equipment and pc parts have drastically increased but my full setup of about 2.5 giga hashes cost me about 50,000. but that was back in 2017. so he spent about 50,000 and he's getting around 1.5 giga hashes which is not too great for that money he could probably got a lot better hash rates if he spent this money more wisely the rig with less powerful GPUs. But again, right now, it is slightly risky getting into GPU mining given the whole Ethereum situation. Really curious to hear your guys' thoughts on all of this. Please harass that subscribe button and let me know if you think Vitaly is trolling or they'll actually switch to a proof of stake model in about eight months. But either way, hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Peace. 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 Trying to make it. I'm a crypto island. Trying to make it. I'm a crypto island. Go to the top. So there you have it. This video is called My 50,000 Crypto Mining Mistake and it's by Bia Heza. I like the video. It's pretty good. It gave a lot of good information. Everything he talked about is pretty much correct. Yeah, just be aware POS may be coming up pretty soon, but we still don't know yet. So earliest, maybe about eight months, June of 2022. But just be aware, it could be earlier than that because delaying the difficulty bomb doesn't exactly mean delaying POS. POS can still happen before, but more than likely it's going to be sometime around that time. But just be aware, they can delay the difficulty bomb again if they're not ready ready for POS. So it could be longer. We just don't know. But it's a very good video. I like it. So I'm going to give it a like and I already subscribe. But if you guys haven't, definitely subscribe to him as well.